Hi there, Andrew here. Today I'd like to teach you how to find the mass percent of sodium, chlorine, and oxygen inside of sodium hypochlorite. To do this, we're going to find the mass first, and then we're going to find those percentages. Take a look at this table. Bam! So the first thing is we're going to write the elements we see. So we've got sodium, we've got chlorine, we've got oxygen. Next is then to identify the number of atoms, and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now if you don't see anything down there, just put a 1 in there, because that's what it is assumed to be. So we've got one atom of each, basically. Then we're going to multiply it by the mass of each particular element. That's where the periodic table comes into play. So sodium is 22.99, chlorine is 35.45, and oxygen is going to be 16. So here we've got 22.99 for sodium, 35.45 for chlorine, oxygen was 16. Then you're going to multiply the rows on a cross to find the total mass of the element. So we're going to multiply this. The total mass of then sodium here is going to be 22.99. Total mass of chlorine is going to be 35.45. Total mass of then oxygen is going to be 16. I hope the math on the next test is like that, right? Isn't that what you're thinking? And then to find the total, just simply add this all together. So we get 74.44. And there it is, right? That was the first step of the process, finding the total mass. Now that I have that total mass in hand, I'm going to add a column to the table to now calculate the percentages. Here we go. Bam. So to find the mass percent of sodium, we're going to simply take the total mass of that sodium, 22.99, divided by the total mass of the entire compound, or 74.44. That's why we did that first. All right? And then multiply that by 100. What happened there? There you go. This is a simple percent calculation, part over whole times 100. All right? Fairly straightforward. And now the total mass, total mass, the total mass percent, excuse me, is going to be 30.88 now. All right, percent. And that's the percentage for sodium. Now for chlorine, we're going to do the same thing. Take the total mass of the chlorine, the 35.45, divide it by the 74.44, multiply that by 100, and then we get a percentage here of roughly 47.62%. All right. And the total mass then of the oxygen. The only reason why the total masses here are the same as the individual, let's say, molar masses or molecular masses is because... We only have one atom of each here, all right? But that will not necessarily be the case for all the problems you do. You can follow this process. If you follow this process for any problem you need uh, to calculate the percent compositions of, it'll always work. Always. So just to check yourself here when you calculate all these percentages, by the way, that's 21.49%. Uh, it should equal then 100%, all right? And that's what I want for you on your next test, 100, all right? Keep studying, keep focusing, keep working hard, keep practicing, all right. And that's what we're trying to provide here. We're trying to provide solve solutions for specific questions to help you practice, to help you, you know, master the specific techniques uh, that might be necessary. All right. We love to help you out. Check out our channel. I'll see you soon.